much, you guys. Welcome to Logan's Candies, you guys. My name is Jerry. I'm going to talk you through the demonstration here. If you guys want to open that door, they'll be able to hear me out there, if you don't mind, if you open it up. I know it's hot out there, but push it a little further open, and it should stay a little more perfect, just like that. All right, so welcome. So what we have here is a mixture of sugar, water, and corn syrup. It's been cooking for about 45 minutes. What I poured on the table is now is a little bit over 320 degrees. So we're just trying to cool it down a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of flavor and a little bit of color. In about 25 minutes or so, we'll be over here on the table pulling out some candy canes. So how many of you guys are here for the very first time, never seen it before? How many first timers? Nice. Very, any returning veterans? Anybody here? Awesome. Very good. Welcome. The candy's new, but the jokes are the same. So sorry about that. But, uh, So this is the same recipe we've been using here at Logan since 1933. Same recipe, same marble slab, same hook on the wall, same stove, same heater. I've not been here quite that long. I got here this morning at about 9.30. I'm running a little late this morning. Actually, it might have been 9.45 now that I think about it. So, so we're just trying to cool it down a little bit. We're going to divide it into a couple pieces here. We're going to make strawberry cheesecake today. So we're going to do four colors. We're going to do red. You like strawberry cheesecake? Very good. We're going to do red, we're going to do pink, we're going to do yellow, and then the bulk of it is actually going to be the white part of the candy cane. Now all the different stripes you do are not going to have any flavor to them. All the, all the flavoring is in the white part of the candy cane. So what that means is the candy cane is all white down the middle, the striping just goes on the outside edge to give it its ornate color. Now the reason we keep stacking it over and over again is it does start to cool on the outside. So by keeping it all together in the same, we're trying to keep it the same temperature. So once we get to the table here, we're able to pull it out nice and evenly. Now I also do haircuts if anybody needs a trim. I'm going to help out. So I'll, lower, I'll tell you right now, I only do one design. It's the bald look because that's all I can do. Bald is beautiful, says the bald man. So we're going to divide this into a couple pieces. We'll just start one by one. We're going to start with our red stripe first. We try to do the darker colors first. Only because you have to put a little more color into them and they mix up a little bit, uh, take a little longer to mix up. So we'll take out a small piece there. This will be our red stripe first. Then we'll do our pink stripe, and then last but not least, we'll do our yellow stripe. So I've already got my gloves on to do the color with. We do all our different colors with the same gloves here. So I'm going to add a little bit of what we call a gel or a paste based color. And all that means it is not a water based color. We're going to use red for this first one. If you use a water-based color, it can kind of dissolve the sugar and make it a little bit sticky. So we use a gel or a paste-based coloring. Remember, no flavor whatsoever here. This is just the color only. And we're going to fold that in a time or two here. And cut off just a little bit more there. Now we do our candy canes at Christmas time in about four different flavors. We do the traditional red and white peppermint, which is by far our number one selling candy cane at Christmas season. Traditional peppermint flavor with a traditional red and white color. We also make a cinnamon flavored candy cane at Christmas time, which is red, white, and green. Take away the big red stripe, we make it green so we can tell those are our cinnamon flavored canes. We also do a cherry flavored candy cane, which is a burgundy with a green and white stripe. And then we also do our root beer flavored cane. We try to carry that all through the Christmas season in the orange, yellow, and brown. Now, Logan's has been in downtown since 1933. Originally, we were out on Euclid Avenue, about two blocks north of here on the west side of Euclid, just north of the Granada Theater. We moved out of this location here in 1953. And then about 20 years ago, we opened up on that side, and about five years ago over on that side over there. Just trying to make a little more room for some more candy in here. Now we do the ribbon candy at Christmas, I, mean, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but the uh, recipe here is exactly the same recipe for candy canes, pillows, and ribbon candy. It's the identical recipe. The only difference if we're making ribbon candy is once we get to the table over here, we would shape it and pull it out a little bit different. But other than that, the recipes are identical. Now Christmas season is our biggest ribbon candy season. We do the ribbon candy last year, we made 27 different flavors. We hope to have about 28 or 29 different flavors this year. Just about every flavor you can imagine. In fact, this time of the year we make about nine or ten different flavors. And as we move over to the table in a few minutes, you'll be able to see some of the flavors we make up on the wall right there behind us, or on the shelf behind us.
And I've got the red just about mixed in here now, so we're gonna take it over the heater and keep it nice and warm over there while we work on our next color. All right, there's the red all mixed in, so we'll take that over the heater over here. Past Valentine's season, we did five different flavors. Peppermint was red, white, and pink. Uh, red, white, pink, and lavender was cinnamon. We also did uh, cherry flavored, uh, pink lemonade, and I believe watermelon flavor. And last but not least, I'm gonna make sure we get the pink here because we already did our yellow. So we're gonna do the pink stripe here. I'm gonna add just a little bit of color to that. And put just a little bit more in there. Now it is cooling quite quickly, although it's still very, very hot. So we'll get a test on that here in just a minute. So remember, no flavor in the color. All the flavor is going to go in this bigger piece here. And this is going to be our white part of the candy cane. All right, there's our pink all mixed in now. So I'll take that over the table also. And let uh, Alan keep that one nice and warm. We're making strawberry cheesecake. Now remember, earlier when we poured it on the table, it was a little bit over 320 degrees. It has cooled down quite a bit. So we're going to get our handy dandy thermometer out here. We're going to take a reading and see where we stand here. 197 right there. As you can see, it is still very, very hot at 197 degrees right there. Still incredibly warm right there. So. And we're going to add a little bit of strawberry to it. Add about a third of an ounce here. I'm going to add a little bit of cheese. And a little bit of cake. Strawberry cheesecake. Just like that. So that's a, probably a little bit over a third of an ounce there. And then we're going to mix that in just like we did the colors. And then in just a couple minutes there, we're going to show you how we're going to turn this nice and white. Now we turn it white, we do turn it white all naturally. We're not going to add any color to it to make it turn white. You'll see all this happens here in just a couple minutes. Has nothing to do with the flavor, but still turn white even if there was no flavor at all. And this is the part of the job where I feel very needed. Sorry. And I'm just going to try to break those flavors up here a little bit so they hopefully will stay inside the batch. And just trying to get those mixed in here a little bit. Now, when it turns white here in just a couple minutes, like I mentioned, we're not going to add any color to make it turn white. It does happen rather quickly, so you do want to keep your eye on the big blob up here. Not me, the big blob on the slab up here. I'm going to roll this out. Here we go. And there it is, you guys. Thanks for coming. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. There it is. Talking to big uh, Just kidding. Just kidding. I think a little flavor spilled out, so you might be able to smell it here in just a minute. Now, we do want you to know here at Logan's, we do put a little bit of love in every batch of candy we make. And just to show you how we roll here at Logan's, there is our hard on the side for you guys. Also, a gratuitous Valentine's Day plug there, also. And just get serious. We're going to put this on the hook here in just a minute. And I'll show you how we're going to turn it nice and white. All right, so we're going to do two things here on the hook. Number one, we're going to add a little bit of air to it. Also, the stretching of the sugar crystal. And that's what causes the candy cane to turn nice and white. It's very similar to the way you might whip egg whites at home. Or how when you stretch out a rubber band, the color lines up a little bit. You can see with each and every pull, the color gets a little bit lighter and a little bit lighter. Now, I don't count how many times you do this. We just keep pulling until we get a nice bright white. Every batch is slightly different. Some batches start out lighter, some start out darker. And then depending on the flavor of the candy cane and the size of the color we're making, that will determine how long we need to pull it or how white we need it to be. You guys able to see that over there? You can see it just gets a little lighter and a little lighter with each and every pull. Now I'm not sure if any of you guys saw the movie Tangled. Anybody see that movie? Doesn't that kind of look like we were just saying that? It kind of looks like Rapunzel's hair there. Well, we're pretty sure the people that did the graphics on that movie came here when they were kids and watched us make the candy canes. So that's where they came up with that idea. So we did ask our attorneys to contact them and ask for a mere 1% of the proceeds. Got no response whatsoever. But it can't hurt to ask, right? 
And then you'll notice as it gets lighter and lighter, it kind of starts to look like Elsa's hair from Frozen. We all know that movie made almost a billion dollars. So of course we had our lawyers contact them also. In this case, we only asked for half a percent. Once again, got no response at all. So my wife Susie keeps telling me, Jerry, you just have to let it go. <laughs> Sorry. Sir. Shape today, we're gonna to do uh, three stripes. We're gonna get my big red stripe here. I've stretched it out a little bit. One big red stripe. Got my yellow here. We're gonna put stretch that out a little more. And then last but not least, our big giant pink stripe here. That will be our three stripes we're gonna put on the strawberry cheesecake today. And actually what she's working on here is a big giant breath mint because we understand that somebody out there today has incredibly bad breath. So we know who you are. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Actually, uh, we're just uh, gonna put the stripes right on top of the old block here. So it's gonna start out with our red stripe here. I'm gonna attach that just to the outside of the block here, just like that. Next, we're gonna take our yellow stripe and stretch him out a little bit. We need a little bit of white in between there. Just like that, we'll put our yellow block in there, our yellow stripe. And last but not least, we're gonna stretch out our pink stripe here. And I'm gonna put that right here on the other side of the block. Just like that. Leaving a little bit of white in between there also. Now you can see here, on this side here, I've got my red and yellow stripe. And then on this side here, I've got my big pink stripe. Any bowlers out there? Anybody bowl at all? Any bowlers? Maybe you can take that down to the lanes, right? So, how about any base? I see some Dodger and Yankee. Oh, we're breaking up. We're not Dodger and Yankee fans out there. Maybe a big giant candy cane baseball bat. Now, if I had five stripes on there with our traditional candy cane look, I'd give you a little guitar riff that I used to sing, but not very effective without the stripes. Or how about this here? A big giant fish or whale with the candy cane tail. I'll pull this out here. Give it a little pull. Give it a little tug. Give it a little stretch. Pulling, tugging, stretching. We get it just the right length and thickness. We're going to give it a little twist. And right before your very eyes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have the candy cane. Look at that. There it is. Now we're going to cut this off here. You can see Abby right here got out one of the few machines we use here at Logan's. This press is about 95 to 100 years old. We've been using the same presser Logan since 1933. We like to call Abby the Crusher. That's all 100 years old.